Here we are. I don't know which number. Comic book game rolling on. We have Violet and Chase here. Uh, Aries is off doing nothing. Well, he's partying. I wish that was character party. He's got chronic pain. Can do it pain reader. Oh, he does. His character after three decades gaming is crippled unless he can get more or something to relieve pain. And right now he has no source. Alcohol doesn't work. He's immune to alcohol. We assume because he's drank it so much before. But he's not here. Make him into a stoner. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly, it would work. We have to decide if we're in a state. Florida. How's Florida's weed laws? Well, it's our fantasy world, so it doesn't matter, but yeah. you want it. We can decide they do the same with Washington State. We're in a fantasy world. We're done with everything there on that day. That was basically, we're finishing up the last day. Okay. Stuff I forgot on the list here. Going into the next day, what are you guys doing this fine morning? Feeding my animal. Okay. First of all, I should okay. ask. Oh, wait, you have. Okay. You have her phone number. All right. On a card. She doesn't have yours. <laughs> Did you forget that part? She can't call you. Well, I'm going to call her. I'm going to start throwing away pens. Now watch, it's going to be a blocked number. Watch. A lot of distractions. Oh. So, first of all, you stay at the... Oh. Headquarters, or you head home last night? Headquarters. Okay. Um. Uh, plans. Maybe like last time I did, we kind of find out what you guys are looking to do today. So, Violet, give me like three things you want to do today. Probably go pick up my car from the shop. Good call. I'm going to put if done because it's only been their day. We'll check. We'll have you call and check on that one then. Um, what else? Play it by ear, I guess. Okay. And then you? One, call her. Okay. You don't have to have three like you did. It's just these are the things you want to get done today. Call Violet. What else? Head over to the, uh, the uh, it's a scientist place. Ooh. Lab. Animal Labs? Is that the one? Yeah. Or is it a different one? The one that you, she works at. Mm-hmm. Why? She wants to go talk to Karen again. To go look outside around the area. Oh, snow, sneak around yeah. the forbidden area. Yes. He wants to, he, he's looking for military to hold his hand. Yeah, third one? Mm, go with the flow onto it and see if there's any information I can find. Okay. Those are just things that can happen. These are just, like I said, the things that you want me to make sure I cover, and then we'll go from there. Okay. God damn it. As well. Yeah, just changed my freaking language. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. So, to start with, both of you guys roll die 10. So, well, here, I should take these out. Too. I'll need them later. Roll die 10, though. 10. First, you have different ones. 7. In case and counter checks and stuff come up. Uh, okay, in case anyone's wondering, we're doing a very, well, it's called a face rip system. Um, I've seen it written up a lot, but it's basically an old Mar classic Marvel superhero system. I don't think they sell it anymore. Uh, but I liked it. It's easy. And the most important thing to me in these games is how quick we can go through things and how easy it is to understand your character sheet. 
So we're here to have lots of fun and speed things up, not drag down in the mathematics of how far I can fall and how many die six damage I take. Champions. Field of Vigilantes had an entire chart just for that. You missed your mouth a couple of times, huh? I just want it. Do you want a couple more? No. Okay. Make a, oh, what'd you roll? Ten? What'd you roll? Seven. Okay, ten. You want to check on your car? Mm-hmm. Roll. Yeah, roll under, but I roll. Which one's dominant? Okay, and the numbers, if you want to know, do you want to know the number? Okay. Seventy. Seventy-seven. Okay, it's not done today. Damn! Uh, but it's close, so I'm going to give it ready tomorrow. Um, wrinkle. What do you want to do? Go to the labs. Okay. Take the bus. Or a cab. Get a rental for the day. Okay. Um, actually make a percentage dice roll. 86. Okay. You thought you saw something in the uh, employee handbook about car usage, company cars. I'll do that. You check on, well you check the information? says if you have permission from Karen, you can acquire a car for work purposes. I'll call Karen. Okay. Uh, well, hello. Doesn't quite sound like Karen. May I ask who this is? Yes. Yes, you may. Who is it? It's a female voice. It's Sylvia. Is your sister available? Yes, I, I've tried to talk her out of it though, but she's remained available. Can I please speak with her? Yes. You hear me all? Ah, Karen! Violet wants to know if you're available. Hello, I assume my sister's done teasing you. Yeah. Um. What you need? Is there any chance I could use one of the company vehicles until my car is fixed? What's wrong with your car? It's in the shop right now. <clears throat> Linda um, did some damage to it. Uh, yes, and uh, we'll send one to you. Thank you. Um, just, you know, the guy that brings it will just drop it off. He'll take a bus home. Well, I was heading towards the lab anyways. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to drive with a stranger. Okay. So. You wait about 15 minutes. And, uh, car, there's someone shows up the door knocking. Hello, miss? Yes. Oh, uh, your car's here. If you can just sign this. What's that? And, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, oh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's like a Prius with the logo painted on the side, but otherwise it's fine. It's got a nice little stereo on the inside. So, you take that and go to work. Mm hmm Okay. How about Chase this morning? Is that a cell phone or a home phone? Probably cell phone. Everyone uses cell, cell phone. Okay. Um, Jeez. I'm just, uh, I'm heading, I'm on, the, I'm over uh, at the lab, uh, on the way over to the lab. I thought you were going to call me jerk. I'm going to do it when I get there. <laughs> I'll be right there! Well, I didn't know that. Hello? <coughs> so he's going to get there, sit in the lobby, call you. I think that happened in Smallville the other day. So, yeah, it works. Fine, do it. I don't care. Yeah. 
it's easy. No, I won't talk to you. No, what do you want? Because your reception, you got to, yeah, I can't, can't talk to you right now, there's someone waiting. Exactly. Chase. <laughs> okay. Going to change that someday. I didn't say it was going to be soon. And actually, I tend to I'm editing this less. I'm not doing well, this is the beginning. Now. Oh, you get to the Anim Labs after a while. And then right before you get into the labs, you s well, no, you don't see your car out front. I'm thinking. Okay, no, you just get the lab. I was going to tell you your car parked out front. So you get there. What do you want to do? Oh, wait, your, what kind of car are you driving? Or your boss, your, your, Chauffeur driving while you're on land. The hunting truck. Hunting truck. He's a chauffeur driving. Does he dress appropriately or is he in his suit with his little hat? No, just uh, blue jeans and a t-shirt. He looks very uncomfortable. But if you insist. <laughs> <clears throat> You forget, I can hear it. So, let's race you got fish. Now, um, now see, you just distracted me. What was it? What did I just. He's at the labs. Yes. He doesn't see my car. Okay. What do you want to do? I thought there's something I already started doing, but I lost track. I'm outside and I'm calling her. Okay. Phone rings. Private phone. Roll the die 10. What's she at? Two. She's busy. She doesn't answer the phone right away. She's working. Can't open private. So. But apparently there's no answer. It would go finally to uh, mess Messenger, I assume. Why don't you just go in? Heading that way. You're heading that way. Your car's not out front. He doesn't know you're there. Pardon me. Pardon me. Roll an intuition check. What's your intuition? Monster, mon mighty, right? Good. No, good. I'm thinking, what's his name? His other characters got that. Roll percentage dice. Which is those two. Show. 41. 41. 41. 41, don't make it. It's not made it makes thing anyway. So what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to sit in the bed of the truck. I'm not walking in yet. With a uh, binoculars and look throughout the area over by on the... He's viewing, looking for, you know... Linda? <laughs> the woods. No, looking at the, the swamp area next to it. Horzilla? No, he missed that one. He didn't see her. <laughs> oh, Horzilla? Yeah. And see what uh, what's just borderline out. Make an intuition check again then. 73. Is it green? Oh! Nothing too unusual, just your standard animals here and there, nothing too big or anything yet, but you know, it's still early, who knows? I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently! Denied! Okay. Your work. Phone. Your peripheral phone was ringing, but it's done now because you're helping someone at the front desk. I call the number back. Okay. Your phone rings. I pick it up. I was at work. Who the hell is this? This is Chance. A uh, Chase. 
I could see you through the front doors. If you want to talk to me, come in here. I didn't and know I you were. Up. I didn't know. So, put the gear down. <laughs> walk inside. Okay. <laughs> But he, uh, he comes up to the desk. Now, what do you want? Didn't see your car out there. I didn't know you were working. My car's in the shop because of your little girlfriend. You know, Skankzilla? <laughs> Not my girlfriend. <laughs> no, but she wants to be. Nope. Only because you had all that money. So what do you want? Besides, she doesn't need a boyfriend. She already has one. Or a half of one. Your best friend. Troy. Troy. He can't date his best friend's girlfriend. That's wrong. Or his other girlfriend. Uh, he doesn't get laid at any parties. He invites Troy over. Troy's <laughs> like a mine. You can take Grandma. <laughs> but she's still trying to score on Troy. Come on. <laughs> Come on, big boy. Okay. Back to not picking on Troy. He's not here to defend himself. Let me see if you found me any, any more information. Oh, no, you tell me. Did you find any more? Not yet. Okay, then what's your business here? Just trying to find information, see what's that going on out in the swamps. We're not allowed in the swamps. You already know this. That's why I'm If not. we were to go into the swamps, it'd have to be when the patrol hint hint is off the clock. Hint hint after hours. Hint! Well, hint! If you don't want to help me, I'm leaving. No. Just <laughs> I bet if I just call you after work. There is no reason why you came all the way here just to ask me that question. No, you already dealt with it. You're planning to trudge around your backyard. He has med. I bet he probably has mud gear in his van or his truck. <laughs> Did you need to see Karen for anything? Just find information on all the. Missing Although animals. honestly, you don't know. Let's see. There's something we left off to a lot later on. He was going to go talk off. to Karen. He was talking to Karen. And I got that on t up to a point. There was a, like the last comment or so. We got cut off on. I don't care remember. You were talking to Karen. What did she tell you? Do you remember? I know. Finish chewing. She's not sure if what, how many are missing, and they wanted to find out if that crab is one of theirs. Okay. You wanted to find out if that crab was one of ours. Well, they, Sherry told them they were sending someone to check on that. Do you want me to call Karen? Please. And let her know that you're here to see her. Yes, please. I do that. Okay. Who is it? Chase Steele. What's he want? He wants to talk to you to find out if you have... I don't... He just said he wants to talk to you. Fine. If not, I'll hear from Troy. Send him in. She's not too happy, but you can go up now. I pissed her off before you got there, but go ahead. No. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. You want up there? Mm hmm. So on uh, the guard's door normally. She was there last time, too. Go on in. You know, the guy, he lets you in, open the door for you. She's sitting at the desk. Looks up from her writing and says, um, what is it you needed? Did we, did we not cover something last time, or did you come up with something new? Uh... One is uh, why do you have why do they have guards out there out in the swamps out there? The, no, they're they're military. 
We informed the military from Can Maxwell. Yeah, oh. yeah, definitely. It's probably coming up too loud. From Maxwell's. Um, from Fort Maxwell. Your uh, friend's dad's fort. It's not his fort. He's just he's a congressman. He'll pay for it. So they named it after him. And every day he stands up and goes, "This is my fort. No child enter. He no girls allowed." And he throws snowballs at people. <laughs> Snowball fort. Are we in Florida? Yeah, he uh, buys them. He's rich, so he has a. You can buy snowballs. He has a snowmaker. You snow can get one machine. So I went on his island. I go skiing over there. I'll be back in twenty minutes. Like, what? We're Florida. I have non-melting non snow. Hydrodynamic snow. Hey, Violet, how do you like your snow that's on your house? <laughs> what? Eh? <laughs> so, are you talking to her? Yes. She's a uh, reasonable uh, as far as, she's, yeah, she just said it was a military. Military's out there. Um, we, they, they're always, they, well, they, they do a lot of drills out there in the parklands. Not in this... The Seminoles actually have a, a reservation in there, but it's surrounded by parkland. Um, and they patrol it anyways, ever since the uprising back before any of us were born. They still keep uh, an eye on it, but uh, we just gave them, we sold them the car, we gave them the, well actually, we got them to pay us to go out there and look for the Look for any misplaced lab animals. I was listening to the conversation. How many did you lose? Mm, three or four. How big are they? Uh, apparently one's the size of a horse. One's an alligator. Ish. It's bigger. It's man size at least. Definitely man size. Um, mm, that's, where's my list? There it is. Uh, we have an alligator, an owl. Well, a mud skipper. I don't know how it escaped and got so far away, but a mud skipper. And uh, a larva. At least we thought it was. It was an egg of some sort. We thought it, we assumed it was a larva. So it was too big to be a bird's egg. Um, we're not, maybe it could even be a cocoon. But, you know, it's, it's, what it was, this shit, the cage is empty. So, that's, that's it. I think, um, I could call the scientist who's more involved in it if he's working today, but, I think it's Friday, though. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. So, he might not be working today, but, I could, uh, give him your number. If you want to request for information. Matter of fact, she digs through a desk wall and pulls out a form that says request for information. And hands it to you. Uh, just fill this out and drop it off at my receptionist assistant up front. And uh, we'll get his process and get you what we can find out. You know, unless you just want to start hanging around more than you already are. As you see her stroll over to the window of her office and look outside down towards your truck. Can I, can I, can I call Karen real quick? Sure. You don't know what they were talking about, though. I know. I just need something to say to her okay. real quick. Um, you know that, uh, truck that's sitting outside? Chases? It's bad for company seeing a piece of beat up old truck like that out in the parking lot. That's not a piece of junk, it's a brand new truck. 
Well, you shouldn't be that judgmental. I'm just trying to be a brat. <laughs> no, that's fine. I understand. And we could request that he park across the street. He's my stalker. <laughs> now, come on now. I thought that was Miss Danvers. Skankzilla. Anyways, your uh, three o'clock's here. Okay. I will see what I can do and I will see if I can come back Excuse later me. another time. And the voice kind of sounds behind you as the door opens. Sounds good. Sylvia enters. I had business with my sister, so. <laughs> And I, well, no one can see it. And she defiantly just waves you off like, you can go away now. Just walk away. Okay. <laughs> Chase's charm doesn't work on her. But he's already, well, he's dating. Well, plus also you can count a little bit of joking because uh, probably you and Chase have like been out a few nights with her on a few trips and things. You you brought whatever girl you might have had at the time. Him and Troy. Him and Troy. Sylvia's dating Troy. I know, but you said... Him and Troy went you somewhere. You and Chase. Oh, Chase? He's going with himself. He's so rich he can buy a copy. It's kept at the house. <laughs> Instead of pet, can I roll... Can I just have a clone of me? No. <laughs> I keep him in a closet. No. Kind of like, I don't know, maybe Stewie's a clone. You gotta make him a little dumber. Yeah, mix that broccoli. What broccoli? No broccoli. There's broccoli essence of that. Essence of broccoli. Yeah. Well, I wonder why we don't have peanut butter out for the celery. I might do it later. Okay. So, do you go out and fill out that paper? Mm-hmm. Do I fill it out in the lobby, or do you just head back to your car and fill it out? Go to my truck. Grab out. Redneck walking. Redneck walking. Hey, a rich redneck. <laughs> Next time I see you in these labs, I'm going to call security on you. We assume actually your mom's probably a little bit of a hippie. She was an occultist. <laughs> And his dad's got all the connections. I was thinking his dad may have been working. His dad and the congressman may know each other. Because his dad's main thing is connections. So he's probably pol pol political. And they're all alive. He's got a whole herd of family. He's bringing them in droves. Coming over the hill like Santa Claus and his elves in that one. <laughs> and they all look like him and killing the girls. It's like John Malkovich. Chase Steel, Chase Steel, Chase Steel. We're gonna go to the point. Well, both of you rolled a six. We should do that. Three, six. Okay. Hate that. So he gets a six. A car comes up and pulls like up across the street from yours. Uh, what's that? You're you're parked on the same side or the opposite side of the place? Sorry. Uh, he said we were inside, weren't he? He's parked in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, on the street just opposite it... I'm sorry. A vehicle pulls up. Kind of a... An old Cadillac style. Pulls up on us, you know, pulls up not too far from you. And a guy gets out. A middle-aged man. So he's just a little older than you. Walks over to you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, weren't you just here the other day? It's a day or so ago. Yeah. Over there, by the uh, bus stop. Yeah. What were you doing? Talking. To everyone there. Anybody I needed to. How about the guy at the bus stop? 
Never pay attention on him. Hmm. He just looks familiar. You don't know anything about him? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Well, here's my card. Hands it to you. It says, uh, Bob's Sign Company. Automatic when I hit automatic, it's like...